Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Unincluded Clay Space Colony Adventure Extraordinaire. We are in the Ultra Utopia. My name is Twitchy, and it's telling us that we don't have any oxygen. Well, it's telling us we do have some oxygen, but that we are not generating enough. I've got a feeling, though, this is because we're already packed full of the good stuff. If we come down here, you can see it hits max gas pressure a lot. So, uh, yeah, I've got a feeling we're not making enough because we have a certain plus already you can also see that the stress is starting to get a little bit too much for Mima I really do have to start worrying about her her decor expectations are low really really low this is why we've gone around and built ourselves a few new paintings but they're not great they, they really are not the best so we're gonna have to try and do something about that also we are starting to get food warnings so these are all things we have to deal with but it's only the second episode so this is gonna be nice and easy something else I would like to do I say easy it it's gonna be well within our grasp of things to sort out another thing I want to do is try and figure out what jobs I want people to be specialized in I want everyone to be able to fight that that's gonna be a thing if 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 trouble goes down I want everyone to be able to uh, respond to that. I think the massaging is possibly also a thing I want everyone to respond to. Cook, I think we can, um, I think we could probably do with having a dedicated cook later on. But right now, let's just have Mima doing the work. Let's get rid of Devon. No one else needs to do that work. Just Mima. Mima is also going to be our artist. Everyone else can be taken off of that. That's fine. Everyone can compost. We're going to take Mima off of the compost because you know her delicate hands are just no, no. Let's let's do that. A bit of composting as well. Definitely not the research though. The hydrofan. I mean, we don't have one in place, so whatever. Maybe we will take someone on to do those sort of jobs at some point. Power. Do we want everyone on the power? Yeah, a little bit of a lucky dip. We'll do that. The same with repair. Not that we've been having to do a lot of repair recently, but we will definitely take that in. Why is it saying a circle there when we've got everyone ticked? That's weird. That's weird. All right. Mopping. Again, we're going to have everyone doing harvesting. I don't know if we want a specific harvest person. I mean, Mima is the cook. Perhaps we want her doing that as well. Uh, and then she could just take everything. No, we want someone else delivering the stuff to her, right? Sweep is fine for everyone. We've only got a one dedicated build. Can we have another dedicated builder? That, that probably wouldn't go and miss. Let's do Max, because Mima's been doing a lot of work. Let's do Max. This block of stuff in the middle here, I think this is practically worthless, this information here. At least to what the jobs we are doing right now. Repair, mop, and harvest, and sweep. There's a side that everyone does it, or no one does it, you know? Uh, and deliver and dig. I don't think we want everyone on the delivery. Let's take those two and just get the fastest people in delivery. And who are the best diggers here? Uh, so we definitely want Max. Let's have Max and Devon and take Ren off. Is Ren a digger? I don't know. Let's, let's leave it like that and let's see what happens to Ren. He immediately becomes idle. <laughs> Okay, well, let's give him a digging action. All right, off you go. Uh, this, I notice, have been, has been uh, opened up. So I'm going to go sweep. Ah, everyone. Everyone is uh, busy. Not busy. Idle. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, everyone is idle. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's sweep all that stuff up. And that should tell everyone to get onto it. Soggy feet. It's not the best. It's not the best. We'll have to try and figure out what we can do about that. Uh, something else that I wanted to do. Obviously, last time we got ourselves the gas pumping equipment and that's great oh i thought we got the gas pearl tile with it did i misread that did i misread that yeah no, there it is ah because i'm looking in totally the wrong place I'm, I'm good at this game but you know we're into our like fourth season now i've been doing this a long time <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought I'd have uh, sorted this stuff out. Now, I was saying about how I would like to get sort of a, a flow of atmosphere on the go using uh, the pumps and stuff. But looking at what we've got here, I honestly don't know where we would want to pump stuff around. We've got just the natural flow of carbon dioxide down here. Obviously, it would be nice if we could get that over to these ones. Okay, and here goes the thought process. I'm going to delete these two here. Hopefully, someone will come along and do that straight away. Mima going around. She's definitely be getting practice. Look. She's at uh, mediocre paintings rather than like terrible crude ones. Uh, we're gonna have to go around and take the crude ones down though. But thankfully, she's being uh, she's saving her bar uh, bedroom until last, so she can come along and make some beautiful places. Okay, this is all being cut down, and here goes the thing that I think will save this. Uh, gonna grab a door, spin it round, pop it there. Go, Ren. The De deliver stuff, Ren. Not not even gonna deliver the stuff for the building. I think we might be slightly overstaffed here. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Is Ren actually pulling his weight? Uh, I'm going to start thinking about having another set of planters here. 
uh, because I want to have a variety of foods to eat. And we can we can get some bristle blossoms on the go. Bristle blossoms on the go. So I think that would be a good plan. I can't click buttons recently. I don't know where this has been going wrong in my life. Th things are just going wrong in my life. Ah, uh, I can't I can't click a button. It's it's just the end of the world, guys. It's the end of the world. Uh, so I'm gonna just kind of take this up like this. Oh, we're gonna end up with the same design that I had last time. And I'm not sure if I want to do that, but it's a, it's strong and stable, as the uh, conservatives would say. Let's go that way. Then grab all of that. That that should be pretty good. Maybe get this one as well. We're starting to get on to the next big job of the day. Lots of sandstone. One of the things that they've made happen in uh, at least so they tell us in the patch notes is when you click on stuff, it gives you the most abundant material. You know, remember how it used to always just give you like granite or something? Uh, now it gives you whichever you've got the most of, which I'm fully in favour of. This is great. More, more, more improvements like this to the game. So this should slowly, yes, yeah, start to leak oxygen up here. Let's let's see what's going on here. Uh, oh, it's been filled in. I'm really interested to know what happens when it starts flowing down here. I've, mm, I want to somehow get this carbon dioxide back over that way. When this all gets like emptied out, I'm sure we'll be able to of, of water. We'll be able to pump stuff around. Perhaps we want to put some ga a gas permeable down here. What happens if I do this? Let's let's just try it. Does this mean everyone's going to be like holding their breath whilst going to the toilet? Which is a little unfortunate. But I think I think we can live with it. Okay, what's going on up here? Nothing. Nothing. Bristle blossoms all the way across. All of these. Uh, Ren M. You're not the man I want. Go away. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, there's a bristle blossom seed right there. So let, let's see how that that happens. Uh, do I want this? Do I want to concentrate on filling this in? I think I might. Let's get to the priorities. Uh, no, pressing six doesn't doesn't help there. That that would be nice if it was just a thing that would happen. If you if you had your priority overlay open and you pressed your number button, it would change the priority for you. But no, gotta open the menu down the bottom. Oh man, already both these storage compactors are overflowing. Let's put another one down. This middle one is supposed to be for algae. I might just turn it back onto everything and see what happens then. Is everyone going to pick stuff up? I particularly want to clear the bedrooms out because the bedrooms are where people spend a lot of time. And I don't want them to be like all sad and stuff. I mean, look at this. This is nice. Green. Green's on the go. People are de-stressing. Okay, I think we may have turned the stress problem around. It wasn't too much of a problem. I knew that it would be something that we could solve relatively quickly okay let's get on the liquid pumps because i feel like maybe we could do with upgrading toilets maybe getting a shower block in do you think a shower block's a good idea guys i think maybe a shower block is a good idea perhaps somewhere up here just like straight across into the shower and then up about to their day yeah yeah that sounds good then what are we going to do with the water obviously we would want to put it into some sort of septic tank somewhere because we we don't have filtration which is something we want to get to like pretty quickly do i, do I just do that I think I'm just going to do that, because uh, the water purifier is something we need to go for, which has in increased in size. It is now a, like, 3 by 4 building, so we got we got to take that into account. Okay, planning for expansion. I think I'm going to take away this ladder. You know what, I'm going to take away both those ladders, and I'm going to think about putting this manual doorway. going to line it up with that. going to line it up, guys. Just... Just this one, one more, please? No? Okay, what, what's Mima doing on the thing? Uh, dirty hands, grimy, soggy feet, and tired. So most of those can be fixed with a shower. Shower does appear to be our big goal for today. Okay, yeah, legitimately not sure if those uh, tiles are in the right place or not, but Mima has just gone and got some uh, lice. Mill lice, that's the word I was looking at. I had lice loaf in my head. I was like, no, this is the end point. But she's gone and harvested some lice, mill lice there. So she can come along and make some microbes in the microbe musher. Lice like ah, oh, th this whole this whole segment has not gone very well for me, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna just fade away now and I'll be back. <laughs> I uh, noticed a, a vital flaw in my plan to get this uh, filtration unit on the go here. I haven't got the supercomputer up yet. That's that's fine. That That is not a problem. I definitely intended to have this waiting around for a little while. I'm now wondering whether I want to extend these over this way. Maybe cut a bit down. No, no. I definitely I want to keep it separate. Like, I want to have this as batteries. I'm not sure if I want to have this as batteries. I'm now thinking this is the ideal place for the showers. Um... But yeah, okay, we're 
gonna put the we're gonna put it down here we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it because we just need the research done we will figure out how things can be shifted around afterwards but right now we need to start getting the things to build so we, that we know where we can put them I, I should have really had some sort of grand plan in mind when I started this colony because you know this is my fourth time through now I should have been able to know where I'm going but I'm just like oh make sure that they're all right yeah you know I got to be happy and that, that's as far as my thought process has gone I knew I wouldn't take too long to clear this out, which means we're going to have to start thinking about where we're going to get other sources of water. I mean, I could literally just dig through there and start using that. Should we, should we try that? Should we try that? I'm going to go on a G7. That, that sounds about right. Uh, something like this. I don't know if they can get around. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm, we're going to flood. We're going to flood because we have dealt with the flood before. What research was that? That was liquid piping. See? See? We, we can deal with floods. I'm going to go for power regulation next, and then we can th start thinking about what's going to go on up here. Okay. So here's a little bit of a flood. We're, we're fine with a little bit of a flood, right? Soggy feet, that's all right. They can live with that. They, they, they can live with that, right? So I'm thinking this is probably where our first serious liquid pump will be. I might even consider the idea of putting double layers down. Because, you know, th this can break at any time. And then go across this way. I, th I think this might be nice. Just have a nice little self-contained... Uh, tile set to contain the water. I used the word contained a little bit too early in that sentence and it completely threw me off. But that's okay. Uh, so what are people doing around here? They're just going collecting water, building stuff. Got to get that built. Let's uh, let's dig some more stuff out here because that should hopefully help. The stuff, of course, being sandstone, making room for what we want. Now, do I want to move this door down? I kind of want to move this door down. You're looking at the way. I'm looking at the way it doesn't match up here. Um, do I, do, I, do I care? Do I care that it doesn't match up? I kind of do. Let, let's do it. I also want to deconstruct that if at all possible. And we will put a line of tile across here. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like it's a bad idea having the supercomputer contained like that. So let's let's do this. We'll leave it open. And then we'll put the shower block here. I don't, feel, I don't feel great. I don't feel great about what I'm doing here, guys. I feel like the layout is very cramped. Very sort of crushed in together. Also, look at all this sand here. How, how did it even get down under here? Like, honestly, how did it even get down under here? What's going on there? What's going on? So we seem to have a good balance of jobs on the go here. You can see that Mima and Ren are the ones doing the uh, the power and the food. Max and Devon just swap places, going around delivering stuff, making uh, making digs and building uh, buildings. Oh, someone's actually got the su supercomputer up and running now. That's also cool. We can get a new duplicate. Do we want a new duplicate? I think we probably want a new duplicate. We've got to get these farms up and running, but we're going to do it anyway. Who are we going to have? I don't know. Who are we going to have here? We've got a strong construction here, but everyone's flatulent or biohazard. Now, whilst I don't mind the flatulence, because they release um, natural gas, I'm not at the point where I can deal with that. So I'm actually going to say reject all these, because none of them... Yeah, none of them jump out or are going to be easy to deal with, so that, that should be fine. Hey, we, we got we got some research, yeah. So the last one was liquid piping, which we got before, and now it is power regulation technology. Yes, that's what we want. So we can start now working towards the shower block. Uh, let's have a look up here. Sanitation shower block. Okay, cool. Because we can just... We can, we can make a, a septic pit somewhere, right? Like maybe this one or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, something I keep forgetting to do that I really need to do. So if I come along here and sweep all this out, that's not the important bit, but that is something I need to do. Uh, I'm also going to... No. Pop down four of those really close to everything okay so th this will be the area where we do the dining hall yeah no we, we have really crammed this in so maybe i'll move the dining hall up up here somewhere and then we can have sleeping and shower um what what else actually needs to be done and then it's just like massive farm or do we want to have the massive farm underneath i mean i could definitely get down here and start building a big farm i i just I feel like we're probably going to need one at some point. Is this cold? I mean, it's no. It's it's, it's a reasonable temperature. It's about it's, it's about zero degrees, but we can live with that. We can live with that. As always, whilst we've got the research on the go, most of the jobs are getting kind of ignored because everyone's just working on either doing the actual research or delivering stuff for the research. As you can see, Devon and Chemem here. Uh, I should have put the supercomputer somewhere near a water source. I mean, if they would just dig these out, that would be great. Do you reckon we can um, pump these up? 
We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Did you see? Did you see that number used there? That was amazing. It's what it's all about. Uh, I'm even gonna come in here with a six. Okay. I, mm, did I want this? Yeah, I kind of wanted this. I also kind of wanted these guys to be working here. Uh, I think what I might do if we have plumbing liquid vent, uh, I would like to get some light liquid movement on the go. Uh, I'm going to go all the way across here. It's a little bit of a shame that the uh, the tiles don't extend across, so we'll do that as well, just, you know, because it's nice to do things like that. Uh, and then I'm going to do that one and like that, and we can start pumping all this water out of here. I'm not sure how people are going to get to it. How is Mima idle? There is, like, loads of stuff to be done. What Oh, <laughs> lost my mouse off the side of my screen. Uh, what? What are you not like? You can deliver. Why aren't you going around doing the delivery tasks? Everyone, everyone's got jobs. Everyone's got things to be done. Mima, go and do these things. Oh, we've got some new reefs. That really didn't take long, like less than a cycle to get the sanitation technology in. Okay, cool. I'm going to let these guys go on and do all the jobs that are laid out already because they, they just need to. They need to get this sandstone pipe finished. We need to get like this farm uncovered and we need to get the uh, mess hall built. But then I'll be back and we can like gloat about all the wonderful things we've got access to, like the uh, hand sanitizers and the toilets and stuff like that. Because, hey, who isn't excited about getting toilets? Okay, we legitimately are actually starting to have a little bit of an oxygen issue here. There's, there's nothing too serious. We can definitely sort that out. I might do it... Do I just do it here? Yeah, I might just do it on the side there. I know it's not the best, especially as we've gone along and made this try to be as nice as possible. But we'll, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Oh, isn't, power switch has changed colour. Love that green colour. That's lovely. That, that really is nice. Uh, down like that. I, th I think that should help. I think that should help a lot there. It's interesting that they say some of these liquid pipes are... Oh, they are unreachable. I've always associated the uh, fully strong white with reachable and the dark sort of yellowy white with unreachable. So it's obviously something I've got to keep an eye on. Are we out of... We're out of copper or something. We must, we must actually be out of copper. That's something to work at at some point. Does that help? Does that allow things to get done? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, food has decayed. That's fine. I, I don't I don't mind about food decaying. Where can we go and get more copper from? Just up here. Great. That That's great. I, I love it when I'm looking for stuff and it's just there. Like, just, just where I was looking. Uh, Renem? Re Renem? No, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna do it? You are, you are gonna do it? You're not gonna do it. I don't know. I'm never sure what Duplicant's gonna do. They, they just take it into their own stride, decide what they think is important, and go around and do that. Doesn't really matter what priorities I set either. They don't, they don't care. They just go, oh, building, building's much more important than digging. Oh, okay, cool. But why aren't you doing the building? Oh, because doing the running is more important. Okay, well, you know get on with stuff so i've been watching the edible as well and we are slowly on the decline here so we we can't actually take on a new duplicate at the moment anyway because we don't have the equipment not the equipment the infrastructure for it as soon as like this stuff gets dug out that would be great can i um uh that said i can't i can up the priority on some of these things but it's quite difficult because I don't want to do the plant pots as well but of course the plant pots are just going to get done um is there, is there a way of not doing that? I mean, there we go. I could just put them back afterwards, I suppose. I, I did the thing that we needed to do. That That's the important bit. Did the thing that we needed to do. I've got a lot of millwood. Millwood? Millwood. Left. Don't really want to grow a lot of millwood. I want to grow bristle blossom here, and then I want to grow something else on the next layer, and we'll, ju we'll just keep going for new things. Why aren't these being dug? They are on a five, yeah, and they are reachable, so I'm not, I'm not sure why, why that's not great. I'm not sure why it's not great at all. Not sure if these are doing what I want them to do or not. Now, obviously, it would be a lot better if I kept them down here because this is where all the carbon dioxide is building up. 350 kilograms. Uh, grams, sorry. It's only 50-odd here, but we've got lots of oxygen. Maybe we need another oxygen release valve somewhere. That might work. That might work. Having another one over here. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm, I'm not one to uh, shy away from putting down gas turp permeable tiles. Mima, I, we need to give you another job. You, you are stood around far too often. Uh, maybe a research? No, you're not so great at that. Delivery. It, it's the fallback job, fall job for everybody, right? 
fullback job for everyone. There, there, there she goes. Let's let's go and do some stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, I've got to think about the power issue here as well. Because obviously we're starting to collect up a lot of power drains here. Ah, oh, it can't quite work. Uh, we've got like... 240 480 oh, that we're, we're already well over um over wattage because we can only put out 400 at a go here but i think we'll be all right because most of it isn't being used constantly now this 120 and this 120 the algae the oxygenators they're probably going to be a constant constant use that's uh 240 as previously mentioned this one's going to be popping in every now and then for the 480 but i suppose that's why we have batteries is that just constantly go out because no one is charging no one is charging uh we, we we can get that done at some point though so someone will come along as soon as the batteries get down to what 50 percent? i think it should be 50 percent. yeah something like that there we go devon uh and that should just charge straight back up because we're not overdrawing. okay cool let's change that shall we let's make it so it is overdrawing we're gonna go down that way across and down here and in uh that should be pretty cool people come along and get that work done for me hopefully Mima at least will come along and make the delivery so that the rest of the dig crew can come along and finish the job that, that would be nice wouldn't it that would be nice in fact that is exactly what's happened here so that's pretty cool new duplicate available now I probably do want one of these. I probably do, but uh, I kind of wanted another scientist, maybe. Uh, but we're not going to take them right now. We're going to have a look uh, and go, ooh, maybe we'll take this one. I'm not so bothered about them not being able to build as long as they can do all the other stuff. Um, not, not so fussed about that one. This one's looking pretty good, but it's a biohazard. We're probably going to end up taking Nisbet over here. But we're, we're not ready. We're like, you know the food is not going in the right direction. We've got 14,000 calories. That's pretty good, actually. Last time I looked was 13. So we, we are going back up. But we need to be going up fast for us to be able to actually take on another duplicate. We need to get through, like, is it 2,000 calories a day? I, should, I hope it's 2,000 calories a day they eat. Because that is roughly what you need right uh can this guy not get reached here he can't there we go let's try and fix that like that should be the one ah oh, finally all the jobs are done are they um can we get some more bristle blossom in uh, this one this one not having uh harvested yet means we don't have anything to start turning over obviously when you eat a bristle blossom fruit i can't i can't say it anymore bristle blossom fruit <laughs> you get two seeds back uh one to replace the one that you or do you get one for each seed and then it's three harvest? Something like that. Anyway, uh, but your, your Bristle Blossom... <laughs> Bristle Blossom Farm will explode after over time. Why are people stressed? Ren M. Ren M, what's up, buddy? Is that you over here? Okay, let's put some more uh, more niceness down. Should we, should we get some nice down? Is that there? What, what's going on over... Ooh, it's not the nicest about, is it? This is probably all just this sweepings here as well. Okay, I've put some high-level sweeps down. Let's see if anyone's going to actually go along and get this for us. Uh, people delivering the mill lice. That's pretty good, but I would like the place tidied up, please, because this, this this is unacceptable. It is totally unacceptable. So I can see it's running out of room in the storage compactor, so I've popped another one down to get done. Obviously, they're not going to do it until they filled up the others because the sweep is taking priority. Max coming along to do the job, though. Sweep only and all. Why are they going up there? What, what are they looking for? A bit of copper? Why, why do we need copper? What's broken? Is anything broken? Hope, oh, we're going for the corner over. Oh, oh that's, I, I thought something had got a little bit of heat damage or something. I was like, no, this is not the way life should be. No, not indeed. Not indeed. Uh, so that's going back up uh, about 100 joules a second. I can definitely live with that. I can definitely live with that. I just realised I wasn't very uh, clear in my thought process when I put this one down. I am literally just emptying out. This is a very, very temporary situation. We're going to just pump all the water from here out to here so that we can turn this into a septic tank and then we'll have like some filtration units set up here we'll send we'll pump the stuff from here into the filter and then across to the nice water where hopefully everything will pump up and into stuff here where it then gets taken out and put into the septic tank we'll need a little crossover point somewhere no doubt because we always do in these things i think it would have been better if i'd taken this wire uh, sorry the pump and put it on this side so that we could run the bad 
around the outside. I don't know, maybe. I will definitely be thinking about that. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we'll find out why Ren M is having an absolute meltdown. Uh, we'll try and get ourselves some toilets and some showers under the way and try and figure out wh what else we can do about food. But I will see you then, or oh, when we're going to do that. Bye!